guys, so today I'm going to do the products I used up shampoo edition. Um, I usually do every time I use up five products, I kind of show you and tell you about them. But today I decided to do just shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you about them, the ones I've used up, and some body wash. And because I'm almost through all the shampoo and conditioner and body wash that we had from like a year ago. Um, very exciting. Okay, and I'm filming outside. Um, just to let you know. So if there's any like randomness or if I look random, um, if I look somewhere randomly, that might be why. So there's like people, there's balconies there, there, and there's cars here, and then my husband might come through the door. I don't know what's gonna go, what's gonna happen. Um, but I can link my last five products down below. Normally they're just random, but like I said, I had a lot of shampoo, so I decided to do it all in one. The first ones I'm gonna talk about are my husband one of my husband's favorite shampoos and conditioner and this is the tea tree special shampoo um, and conditioner so they look like this um, they smell they smell so good they're so strong um, he got these last summer and his brother used these one time um, they're pretty expensive by the way I think they're like 20 or 30 dollars a bottle um, you do get a liter but it, they are a lot more expensive than a normal shampoo and conditioner. Anyways, his brother used it and he got out of the shower and you can definitely tell. So it has tea tree oil, peppermint, and lavender, so it's probably peppermint what I'm smelling. Um, but yeah, I really like these. Um, we might repurchase these just because they smell delicious. They do really well clean your hair as well. Um, but yeah, so I really like these. The next two are the Fast Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these because I cut my hair um, before my before I was engaged and I wanted it to grow longer. I've cut it since then by the way, so just so you know. Um, but this is the Fast Shampoo and Conditioner. It's supposed to make your hair grow fast and healthy. Um, I did see that it, not maybe not, it definitely made my hair healthy. Um, these again were like $20 a thing, a bottle. So these also are pretty expensive. Um, I got them off Amazon. I'm not sure in the store where they sell them, but I got them off Amazon. Don't know if these actually made my hair grow faster. They did make it healthier, and I did see a big difference in my scalp and healthiness. So I might repurchase these. Um, these are just not as accessible since you have to buy them online. Um, and I'm gonna maybe try some other shampoos that are in the store. The last things are from our honeymoon. Um, I got them at. Uh, hotel we stayed at and they are the Paul Mitchell original shampoo and conditioner this looks like this they're just really little um, so I use these a few times and I absolutely I absolutely love these um, I used probably half of them while we're on vacation so I just took them because my husband works at a hotel and he said they throw them out anyways so I was like, if I'm going to get use out of them, you know, I might as well take them. So I took them, and <laughs> I really like them. Um, I might try I might try more Paul Mitchell stuff because I really liked it. They were really like, even the soap was soft, which sounds strange, but it was, like when you put it on. And so I really like these. That was my last pair of shampoo and conditioner together. Um, the next one is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Conditioner. I honestly didn't see a huge difference in this. It's not super expensive or anything. Uh, it smelled like Garnier Fructis products smell, and I'm not dissing them. I'm just wasn't my favorite, and I might try other brands. Um, I like trying other brands and options for my hair. My hair doesn't see usually a huge difference. Um, and shampoo and conditioner, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, it just kind of does its thing. And yeah, so I didn't see a huge difference. So I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this just to see if I can find a shampoo and conditioner that really worked for my hair. The next one is the Jason Dandruff shampoo. And this is supposed to be um, like all natural. And again, we ordered this one online because my scalp is really dry, but my hair gets really greasy. So it's a really bad combination. If it dries out my hair, like makes it less greasy, it like kills my scalp. Um, and then things that like moisturize my scalp make my hair just super greasy. So this um, kind of did that. So 
I wasn't a huge fan of this just because it made my hair so dry. The next three things are body washes and we will save the best for last. So we'll go for the Burt's Bees Outdoor All-in-One Wash. I use this I use this just for um, my body. It says you can use it all over your body. Again, this is natural and it did not lather very well at all. Um, I got this in a sample Burt's Bees thing. And I really like Burt's Bees products in general. I've never really had one that I'm like, ah, I don't really like you. But this is definitely one of them. It didn't lather very well. It didn't smell very good. Um, it just, it just, I'm not a fan of it. And I, again, wanted it to be so bad because um, I really like Burt's Bees products. But this one, I'm not a fan. The next one I got in a birch box one month and it is the Corez Shower Gel in Japanese Rose. It smells so good, guys. So good. Oh my goodness. Um, and I really liked it. The only thing I didn't like about, at least this sample, I'm not sure about the regular body wash, but it has, it's just a big hulk. And so it's really hard to get just enough out. And um, I liked it. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I think I like Bath and Body Works. I like Bath and Body Works ones a little bit better. Um, so I like it, but I don't know if I'd repurchase it, which, um, and I'm sure this is super expensive being a Corez, so. Again, I don't think it's worth it, but I really liked using it. The next one's been in my favorites, and the next one is one that actually I got from my husband because he does not like the um, like exfoliating beads in it, and it is the Axe Snake Peel. <laughs> Looks like this. Um, as you can tell, you might be able to tell, actually, it has um, those like blue beads in it, and that was the exfoliating thing. And yes, this is supposed to be for boys, um, it does smell like boy. <laughs> so if you want to smell like a boy, go for it. Um, I used it. I used two of these and I absolutely loved them. I love the exfoliating thing so much. Um, they actually have ones from Bath and Body Works, not Axe, but there's ones from Bath and Body Works that are um, shower scrubs, which I've been mixing in with just regular shower gel to get the same effect. I just loved how it would exfoliate my skin. My skin tends to get dry and exfoliating really helps and it was just perfect because I was like washing and exfoliating at the same time. I like products that are all in one products so I really like this. Um, I didn't really notice the smell like when you're putting it on you're like yes it smells like boy oh my goodness but after a while um, like when she put on my other shampoos and conditioners the smell went away I and mean, it wasn't super strong but I did like this one a lot. So that was my shampoo my shampoo and conditioner and body wash um, products I've used up. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried any of these or what your favorite shampoo, conditioner, body wash is down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!